What's going on everyone? Today we're talking about how to mix hydroponic nutrients. It's super easy, you just gotta kind of follow the label and I'll walk you through how to read this label. So let me just kind of tell you what each one of these are and what they do before we start mixing them. So first off, this is the Flora Grow. This one is basically just that, it's for vegetative growth. And the cool thing about hydroponic nutrients is when you mix them, you mix them for what you want. During the beginning, I'm gonna be giving it a lot of this to give it more vegetative growth. And then once they're bigger and we're ready for those plants to start flowering, we can give it different nutrients to start flowering. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well. This this is for a micro and this is going to give it micronutrients and this is one that I just kind of give it throughout the entire life cycle of the plant and this is a really good one and this is what I was talking about a second ago this is flora bloom during the beginning yes you do give it some of this but towards the end is when you really kind of start ramping this up and it's what it's going to start giving you a lot of flowers and lots of peppers and super awesome stuff this is great this right here is pH balance down the pH of the water at my house is normally well above seven uh, for peppers you want it generally between six and seven I like to keep it closer down to six, maybe even dipping into 5.9 ish. The reason why pH matters is because if your pH is off, if it's too far below six, too far above seven, yes, these nutrients might be there, but the plant is not able to absorb them. I'll make sure that there's links in the description below for everything that I use here today. I found it easiest to get these little cup things that I have, get them set up, and then what I'll do is I'll go through each one of these, I'll shake them up, and then put them in these cups. So here's the Flora Bloom, Flora Grow. Flora Micro. Guys, I can't tell you how long this stuff lasts. So I bought this a couple years back and I still have this much. And at, there was a time where I was mixing five gallons of this stuff at a time. Definitely really helpful. Water jug. Coming close, let's look at this chart here so I can kind of show you guys how this mixture is gonna look. So if you look here along the top, it says Flora Grow, Flora Micro, and Flora Bloom. That's the three different types. So each one of these bottles is gonna have the same chart on it. And if you look down the left-hand side, the first one says cuttings and seedlings, and then general purpose, and then aggressive vegetative growth, transition to bloom, and blooming and ripening. I never really use the aggressive vegetative growth. I've never really had to, but I do transition it to bloom and blooming to ripening. I do use those. So if you look at the cuttings and seedlings, it is one quarter teaspoon per gallon. My seedlings are gonna need a little bit more than that. I've never really gone that low. I normally go half strength from the general purpose. So let's look at the general purpose. I need one teaspoon per gallon of each one of these three. So I'm going to be mixing one gallon right here. And if you look down at the bottom here, it has the US metric US to metric conversions. This makes it easier for me just because of what I'm using to measure this stuff out. My little syringe here measures five to 10 milliliters really easily. So I'm gonna look here and one teaspoon is five milliliter. And so I'm gonna take that general purpose and I wanna go half strength, which means I'm gonna want 2.5 milliliters of each one of these in one gallon of water. If anyone has any questions on how to read either of these charts, please let me know down in the comments or shoot me an email, something like that and I can kind of walk through this a little more one-to-one -one with you, that's totally fine with me. I just want everybody to understand this chart so they can do this on their own. First, let's just go ahead and get the first one over here. So we only need 2.5 milliliters. So right now that's about four, so let's bring it down to 2.5, perfect. Put that one in there. What I will do at this point, I don't want to mix all these together. So I have a little bit of that one left in there. So I do have just a little glass of water here and I'm going to rinse this out. All right, that's rinsed. Now let's go to the Flora Grow. Let's do this one, 2.5 as well. Perfect. Put it right in there and rinse it out. All right, now Flora Micro. This one's always kind of difficult because it's so dark, so you really have to look at the lines to see where you're at. And there I am. If, if it's not perfect, it's not rocket science, if everything's gonna be totally fine. Just get generally close to what you're looking for. And right now I'm doing half strength, like I said, but I'm only gonna do that once. After this one time, the plants are gonna be big enough to where they're gonna be able to handle just the general purpose full strength, which is gonna be five milliliters per one per gallon. So now we, you can see the nutrients that are sitting down here in the bottom. We need to get this mixed up because it is obviously not mixed up very well. Okay, at this point, you're gonna to wanna to check your pH. I haven't put any kind of pH down or anything in this yet. This is just my normal tap water with all three different nutrients. And you, you wanna start looking at your pH with just these things. You don't wanna start with just the water. If you take your pH before the water, then your pH is gonna be a little bit different after you add all of your nutrients. How I'm gonna check my pH today is I have this little pH meter. This isn't super fancy. It's a little bit fancier than the last one that I had. This is a really good one. You can also go, you know, they, they have them down to like $12 on Amazon. You have to calibrate them. They I'll give instructions on how to calibrate. This is just the one that I've been using lately, but I've used the $12 ones. You can also get pH strips. You just wanna make sure you know what the pH of your solution is. So what I'm gonna do is 
take some of my nutrients here and pour it into a cup. This isn't gonna fit all the way down into that water. Now let's check this pH. So with a lot of the pH meters, you kind of have to be patient with them. They take a while to uh, settle down and kind of figure out where they want to be. When I first put this in here, it was well over nine. And now it's starting to slow down at 7.5. This one's gonna stop you know, right around 7.3, 7.4. Either way, that's too high for me. That's not what I want right now. I need to bring this down closer to 5.9, 6, 6.1. I'm gonna bring it down to the lowest part of six that I can, <laughs> because a lot of times what I've noticed is as you get evaporation, as the roots start sucking some of this up, your pH is slowly gonna creep up. So if you start at the lower end of it, it kind of gives that some wiggle room to where when it does start going up, your roots are still gonna be sucking up all the nutrients it can possibly get without having to worry about the pH. So I'm gonna pour this water back in here. When I used to do this, I would just kind of pour it in and then check it right away and then adjust it again and then adjust it again. And I would just keep doing that until I, like I would pour it in, I would shake it, I would check it. And then the next thing I know I'm at like 4.5 or five. It's because this needs some time to settle. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in there and honestly, it kind of sucks because there's not really a science to this. Well, I'm sure there is, but it's way over my head. I'm just gonna pour a couple little, let's, let's call them dollops. I'm gonna pour a couple little dollops of this pH balance down into this. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna check the pH again. So this is what I'm gonna consider a dollop. Hopefully you can see that. And we're gonna come back in about 10 minutes. All right, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up. And let's give it another shot. So let's pour it in here. Let's see where the pH is sitting at now. So this is sitting closer to 5.9, maybe just below 5.9, but that's good. I'm good with 5.9, that's just below the bottom limit of where we wanna be. And the cool thing about hydroponic nutrients is when I first started using them, I would only use it for my crack tea systems or you know just hydroponic plants. But then I started using this for everything, all my plants. You use it for double cups, you use it for soil, everything. The awesome thing about it is you, you control every aspect of your nutrients. You don't have to worry about you know what the NPK is because you are building the NPK. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any more questions about how to mix hydroponic nutrients, especially these hydroponic nutrients, please shoot me an email, shoot me a comment. Just let me know that you need some help. I would be more than happy to help you. If you like this video, go down and hit the like button. That'll help me out a lot. And if you found this video helpful, go watch this video right here because you're going to find it just as helpful. I swear. I hope. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.